lot is still out there, it's a lot of question marks, but what we do have is brand new video that the police released uh, publicly to ask the public's help in identifying these people and this car. If we can show that, uh, this happens very quickly, but you see three individuals getting out of a white Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, they exit the vehicle. That's when police say they fired shots at a crowd standing outside of this establishment, this lounge that was hosting a private concert. And really, from the video, we're seeing within seconds they are getting back into that car and fleeing the scene. Uh, police explained that uh, when they shot at people standing outside that venue, uh, the people there shot back at them. And so that's why perhaps we were seeing so many markings on the ground yesterday for shell casings um, outside of that business. Uh, in talking about the people who were shot, police say there were 23 in total. Two people were killed. Uh, three of the injured remain in critical condition right now. Three others who were injured have already been released from the hospital. Uh, and one of those who was released is only 17 years old. So a lot of young people here. Uh, here is uh, the police talking about uh, speaking with the family members now grieving and dealing with the fallout of this incident. The mother that yesterday fell down and broke down in front of me that I could hardly hold her up and we had to get a group of people to hold her up and we have to tell her that her child is dead. This violence is just senseless, okay? For you guys that are out there, if you're watching this and you're responsible for this, look at those victims that you don't take into account. Those victims are hurting, they're destroyed, their lives are turned upside down this morning. It's despicable 